Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be covering some news. we got three big pieces of news for you today. If you haven't already, do subscribe, drop a comment below, and we'll be sure to answer to you. All right, now China seeks to reduce the dependence on the dollar and proposes to issue an Asian Yuan. Now, because of that global CBDC's adoption, that is actually trying to take place with the currency to reduce the continent's economic reliances on the U.S. dollar, much like all of the other countries at this moment, which we can tell is kind of a big situation, right? So it is the most widely used international currency is the dollar. Everyone uses it hands down, right? So what they're telling is the international monetary policy is based on the dollar as well. And many countries' economies rely on that and their trade and exchange, but the others are actually USD pegged. Now, the research that they have, they said that shows that the Asian region relies heavily on the U.S. dollar and for those international transactions at the expense of their local currency. So it shows that that ability to actually be able to be financed for their local currencies. Now, the economic vulnerability is what China is actually trying to eliminate with the introduction of the Chinese Yuan token. Now, according to those Chinese researchers, that Yuan token, an Asian-wide digital currency, is looking to reduce the U.S. dollar dependencies. Now, it will peg to 13 ASEAN member countries Asian. Cryptocurrencies and USD are widespread across all of the uh, Southeast Asians for remittance and currency inflation hedges and international businesses. Now, uh, the researchers are Lu Dongmin, Song Shuang, and Xiao Huji of the Chinese Academy of the Social Sciences. And they published their views in September in the issue of the World Fairs Journal. Now, the researchers said that the Asian Yuan token would reduce that reliance. Now, in the journal, over 20 years long economic integration in Eastern Asia laid a foundation for regional currency cooperation. But those researchers believe that the conditions are actually ripe for setting up the Yuan token. Now, researchers are a member of the Institute of World Economics and Politics and a research unit under SAS that affiliates with the World Affairs Journal. Now, the CBDC pilot of China hits that milestone as well. So, China's CD CBDC plot pilot hit a milestone a few weeks after the Asian One research publication. And on the 10th of October, the Bank of China said that its ECNY pilot transaction approximately $14 billion, $100 billion yuan. It further revealed that nearly 5 and 6, 5.6 million merchant stores actually support the digital yuan. All right. And in other news, we have that the OKX is partnering with the Pyth Network. Now, so they said that they're going to partner with the Python network, and that is operating with the largest and most reliable Oracle networks. So the solution uses wormhole messaging protocols to aggregate and publish data at sub-second speeds, which makes it available across blockchains. Now, according to the director of finance markets, he said that given the recent liquidation events in DeFi, we understand that a high-performance, robust, uh, and low latency market data Oracle service is crucial in developing financial products in DeFi. The Pyth network with sub-second latency and its rapidly growing network of highly respected data partners is an example of this exciting potential. All right, and per that statement, the partnership would also help OKX in crypto and traditional finance. And it was also stated as well from Michael Cahill, which is the director of the Pyth Data Association. He said, OKX has finally established itself as a leading global crypto exchange known for innovation and security. Their commitment to DeFi and Web3 resonates with Pyth's mission of promoting more efficient on-chain markets. And we look forward to partnering with them in this journey. Another major development in July this year, OKX partnered with leading charting and trading platform TradingView. Now, it has brought more than 260 cryptos currencies to TradingView's framework, and the world's most famous investing website, TradingView, is actually offering more than 100 more crypto derivatives and 640 more spot trading pairs to its 30 million users on the AKX integration as well. And finally, crypto price today, October 16th, is surprising winners after volatility. Now, crypto price today, the crypto market is actually struggling because of that downward pressure on crypto prices. And Bitcoin prices are extremely sluggish as the market is actually waiting for other policy guidance from the feds. 
Ethereum is down over 3% in the last 7 days, but Ethereum is up 0.1% in the last 24 hours. Because, or while Ethereum is not showing any significant vitality, uh, it is still below the $1.3,000 mark, and it's trading around $1,283. DOT is one of the biggest winners of the crypto market in the last 24 hours, and is currently at 1.5% in the last 24 hours, and is trading at around $6.15. And DOT surge is rather impressive, considering the unfavorable uh, economics condition in the market. Now, Tron was the biggest losers of the crypto market. It fell 1.5% from the last 24 hours and is trading at 0.06142. Now, Shiba was another performer in the last 24 hours. It is up by 1.5%. And Chainlink and Algorand um, actually bothered surge over 1.5% in the last 24 hours, trading around $7 and 0.3227, respectively, of course. Now, why is this sluggish today? Well, because of that tremendous pressure from the Fed Reserve, of course, and that losing battle against inflation, and will m almost certainly prompt a mega hike. The Fed is engaging in the quantitative tightening to interest rate hikes to curb that inflation, which has led to massive sell-offs in the crypto market. And some key events to watch out for is the November 2nd FOMC meeting, which will actually decide its fate for the crypto market. Experts are eyeing the movement of a surging dollar as threats of a global economic stability starting to rise. All right, guys, if you haven't already, do subscribe, drop a comment below, and I will see you again next time.